Hey folks, Zach Pope here, lead designer of Trout Routes, and today we're going to do a tech tip on how to read real-time stream gauges. A stream gauge is an instrument that is typically managed by the USGS or sometimes a smaller local government or private entity. And really it's, a, it's an instrument that measures the flow of river or in some cases the temperature and also the height of a river. And as an angler it's a really important tool to plan your trip to kind of see what the conditions of the stream are before you go. So um, two common use cases are right after it rains, um, sometimes the rivers will completely blow up and get to a point where you can't fish them anymore. Or for some people, they really like to fish uh, right after or right during the flows start to increase with big streamers. Uh, further out west, some of the use cases involve uh, really trying to navigate away from the uh, big snow melt events. So a lot, of, a lot of times out west, you can't really fish until you know sometimes June, sometimes July. And having a real-time stream gauge to kind of see what the conditions of a stream are before you go is a really important tool. So at Trout Routes, we have all of the USGS stream gauges that are in our maps. Um, you can kind of pan the map and look for a nearby stream gauge uh, in the area that you're looking for. Um, they're not going to be in every stream, but one of, the, one of the tips is to look for a stream gauge in the watershed nearby the stream that you're going to go. And typically it's a pretty good indicator. Um, but today I'm going to show you guys kind of how to look for these stream gauges and then interact with them to kind of plan your trip. So here uh, I'm going to pull up the Trout Routes app. Uh, should be shown right here into the side here. And um, the first trick is that the stream gauges only appear in the guide mode. Now the guide mode is only going to be for pro members. We do not have the stream gauges as part of the basic membership. So once you're in the guide mode, you can kind of zoom in here, and this is Pennsylvania. And as you zoom in, you can see these little blue dots. Uh, they're, it's kind of a blue dot with a white inner circle with an icon. And I'm just gonna kind of pan in here and show you that when I tap on this, you'll see that when you tap on the USGS stream gauge, you'll see the name of the gauge as well as the current discharge and the water levels. And what we try and do is color code them really quickly so you can kind of see really quickly, generally speaking, what the levels are like relative to the averages of that month. And so right away you can kind of see for this particular gauge, it's actually a little bit high. So if you wanted to look more into uh, this particular gauge and see the monthly and the weekly and the hourly charts, you can do that by clicking the view chart button. So when I do that, you can see the chart here, uh, right here it's showing the flow. You can take your finger and drag it and see that the uh, conditions are reported pretty recently as of um, about a half an hour ago. So it's, it's, a, it's very real time. You can see month view, you can see week view, and you can see day view. Um, you can also flip over to the height gauge. So most gauges will have both the just discharge level and CFS and also the height. In some cases they'll have temperature, but as of May uh, 2022, we do not support the temperature readings of the gauges. Um, moving on to some of the things that we're gonna be doing to enhance these charts for Trout Routes Pro users is we would really like to have the option of displaying the common PDF output that you see for when you go to the USGS website, you can see the, the classic kind of white with a blue line uh, display chart. They're not interactive, but they are a common way to view the charts, so we will start supporting those. And then secondly, in these charts, it would be really nice to also display the annual averages for that month. So in this case, you know, I, I can see, you know, these different um, these different events. Clearly there's some, some big rain events going on right about now and a week ago, but I'd really like to see the averages for the month and I think that would be really nice to have. We should have that in the next couple of months. So that is one way to view the stream charts. And again, what I would do is suggest that you look for a gauge nearby the river of your choice um, because they're not gonna be in every stream. And um, hope you guys liked it. And if you guys have any questions, um, feel free to reach us at support at troutinsights.com. Thanks for checking us out.